consider the two functions increment and decrement shown below. So the increment function says weight on a variable s then x is equal to x plus 1 and then signal s. The decrement function weights on s decrements x and then signals s. We know that weight will always in decrement this by 1 and signal will increment this by 1. There are 5 threads each invoking increment once and 3 threads each invoking decrement once on the same shared variable x. The initial value of x is 10. Suppose there are 2 implementations of the semaphores as follow. So there is implementation 1 where s is a binary semaphore initialized to 1 and implementation 2 where s is a counting semaphore initialized to 2. Let v1, v2 be the values of x at the end of execution of all the threads with implementations i1 and i2 respectively. Which one of the following choices correspond to the minimum possible values of v1 and v2 respectively? And these options are given to us. So let's work this out. So let's first look at implementation 1 where it is given that s is a binary semaphore and it is initialized to 1. We also know that the initial value of x is 10. Now if s is equal to 1 that means mutual exclusion will be ensured. Why is that? So let's say one thread takes is waiting on s, s was 1. So when it executes this, s will become 0 after execution of this wait s. Now if another thread wishes to go either in this increment function, it cannot because s is 0. And also if it wishes to go into the decrement function, again it will keep on waiting for s. So till the time this s is signaled, that means till the time this s becomes once again, 1 again, none of the other threads can execute either increment or decrement. So this is the scenario that if s is equal to 1, there will be mutual exclusion at one time only one thread will be able to execute either increment or decrement. So in whatever order these functions are executed, but since they will be sequential, so let's say five increment will be executed because each thread, there are five threads and each thread is incre invoking increment once and there are three threads which are executing decrement. So each of the thread executing increment and there are five such uh, calls for the increment function. So the value of x is being incremented by 1. So initial it was 10 and after 5 increment calls it will become 10 plus 5 which is 15. And if we are in executing 3 decrement then the value of x will become 15 minus 3 because in each decrement function it is being decremented x is being decremented by 1 so 3 decrement function calls means x will be decremented by 3 so the final value of the implementation v1 which is that value after implementation 1 so this will be the value of x that v1 is equal to 12. Now let's consider this implementation 2 x we know that initially it is 10 and now implementation 2 says that this semaphore is 2. Now this means that two processes can enter the critical section simultaneously. How is that? S is equal to 2. So let's say one thread goes inside this increment and it waits on S. So S will become 1. Now S is still 1. That means another thread if it wishes to go either in increment or in decrement, it can go because the value of s is 1. So it is waiting on wait on s. So s is 1. So another function can go in. So s will now become 0 and now no other function can, uh, no other thread can now enter increment or decrement. So s is equal to 2 means two processes can enter the critical section simultaneously over here. So let's say that thread there are two threads and both are reading x is equal to 10 at the beginning because that was the initial value of x one thread starts the increment and another thread starts the decrement function so we are having let's say t1 which is having starting the increment function and 
t2 which is starting the decrement function and now since there are two threads which have started this execution now as the value of s will become zero so no other thread can now execute these functions so increment will cause the value of x to be incremented by one so x becomes 11 and it will signal s so now s will become one so it was a zero now it has become one and let's say that thread t2 which was executing the decrement it is still executing it has still not finished its execution now since s is equal to one that means one of the threads can again start the increment or the decrement so if one thread can now execute increment or decrement again let's say now a thread starts and it reads the final value of x which is 11 so it reads x is equal to 11 and starts the increment function when it starts the increment function so since s was 1 now s will become 0 again because this because of this wait uh, uh, instruction so the thread is executing increment and x will be incremented by 1 over here and s will also become 1 when it signals s and let's assume that decrement is still executing this thread 2 which was executing decrement it is still executing that now s has become 1 so again another thread can begin one of the uh, increment or decrement so another thread reads x is equal to 12 and starts increment again so s has again become 0 so on executing this x now at this increment x becomes 13 increment by 1 and s becomes 1 and now let's say this decrement function which was being executed by t2 finishes execution so since this t2 had initially read x is equal to 10 now when it prints or gives the result it says that x is equal to 9 and now since this has also finished execution this has also finished execution so s is equal to 2 and by this time three increments have been run by the three threads and only one decrement has been uh, done by one thread so now the final value of x is 9 currently over here so s is equal to 2 that means two threads can start again so now thread they both the threads now two threads are there they are reading x is equal to 9 so this was the final value and now one thread is starting increment one thread is starting the decrement so s becomes 0 so this uh, the result of this increment x will be incremented by 1 and s will become 1 because of this signal operation and let's say decrement finishes after this increment and it was 9 so now it it prints 8 and s is equal to 2 again so again now both the threads is equal to 8 and if you see that three increments are complete four increments are complete right now and two decrements are complete in total there are five increments and three decrements so now both the threads will read x is equal to 8 start increment and start decrement also over here so there are two threads which are starting increment and decrement both have read x is equal to 8 increment thread finishes earlier prints 9 because it is incrementing x decrement finishes later and prints x is equal to 7 because it had also read x is equal to 8 it decrements x by 1 and prints x is equal to 7 so the final value after these five increments and three decrements v2 is equal to 7 so in the first implementation the final value was 12 in the second implementation the final value is 7 so out of the options that are given to us this is the correct option